What up YouTube, this is Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech with a video for you guys today. This one involves AT&T and Verizon and the installation of small cells uh, in a lot of large cities in the United States. So, you know, these two big carriers, Verizon and AT&T, are very powerful. You know, they probably have an estimated, um, wow, it's probably almost 300 million subscribers on their networks. So um, they do generate a lot of money. They're very powerful. Uh, they obviously want to improve their network to have the advantage when trying to convince customers to switch to them. So they're always trying to enhance their network. What they want to do, and this is an article from the LA Times, uh, they want to be able to install the small cells that they need for the 5G uh, technology that are going to be implemented in the next couple years. But they're going to need more free reign to do this. They don't want to deal with all the restrictions and the limitations of dealing with the political side of installing these things. Now, I'll let you guys know what I think at the end of this video, but let me give you a little bit of a rundown of what the issue is here. So AT&T and Verizon are going to have to improve the amount of capacity that the, their networks have in order to properly administer or deploy any type of 5G network. They're going to basically need tons and tons, thousands of small cells installed in, in lots of different cities around the nation in order to have you know, a notable uh, 5G network. Now, in order to do this, you need the okay of the city. You're not just going to be slapping on small cells wherever you feel like it, you know, so, oh, there's an available street light or, or light pole. Let's just slap a small cell on there. It doesn't work like that. You've got to get authorization and the okay from the city, the local government, the municipality, whatever the case may be. So, in order to install it, you need the okay and local governments are saying, hey, you've got to listen to what we want. We'll authorize it if we want it. And Verizon AT&T don't really want to have too much of a restriction. They want to be able to slap these small cells as much as they need to make their networks better. So here's the tug of war. You've got local, uh, local governments and municipalities and city officials that are going to be offering some resistance to this. And then you have Verizon AT&T, which are going to battle for the freedom to install these uh, to improve their networks. So uh, that's pretty much what it is. Um, there's going to be a lot of small cells that need to go up, and Verizon and AT&T want to put them up, and you know they want to be able to do it very freely. And of course, the cities, uh, the local governments, are not going to want to go through that. They they want to retain uh, the call. They want to let people know, hey, you know, we're still here. It's got to go through us. It's our call to make. So. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Verizon and AT&T should have more free reign to install these around cities? Or do you think that local governments and um, you know city municipalities should be making this call and should restrict it as they please? My opinion, I think they should be able to make that call. Verizon and AT&T are more than welcome to have, you know, to to try to implement their technologies, but they definitely are at the discretion of the city that's allowing them to install it. So if a city does not want, you know, as, as it said here in the article, it said some of the small cells can be the size of a small fridge. Maybe people don't want that up on their streets and their street lights and their light poles. But on the smaller ones, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, they're not really noticeable. They probably wouldn't mind. So I think it kind of depends on the equipment and how much of an eyesore it is in certain parts of a city. Personally, that's the city's call. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys and, and kind of see what your opinions are. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This is Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.